Hello everybody, today we are doing a project of the title Vending Machine. Our class is PB21 and this is our members. First we have Ji Feng, then me, Clement, Nigel and Kai Jian. What our project is about is we have to design a vending machine controller that can disperse a cup of coffee. Every time 15 cents is deposited, a cup of coffee will be delivered and only 5 cents and 10 cents is allowed. And even if you give anything more than 15 cents, no change will be given back. Uh, I will now pass to Ji Feng, which will explain more about this project. When we first join the project, we encounter three problems. The first one is we need to determine what is the input inside the entity, because the relationship between the input and output depends on the A and B. The second one is that we need to make sure the output is in active node state, otherwise the LED will not light up. If the input is 5 cents, we first start at S0. Every time we input 5 cents, the state will increase by 1. If the input is 10 cents, we start at S0. Every time we input 10 cents, the state will increase by 2. However, when it reaches S2 state, no matter how much money we input, it will always come to S3 state. Hi, I'm Nigel. I'm gonna talk to you about the VHDL file, uh, VHDL code. Okay. As you can see here, A represents 5 cents, B represents 10 cents, and Y is the output that you will get. Every time you put Hey, no. Uh, the reset buttons must be pressed before you can start putting in the coins, so you turn it into state 0. Every time you put 5 cents, uh, you jump by one state. So from state uh, 0 to state 1, then you put another 5 cents, state 2, until you reach the state 3. When you reach state 3, your coffee will uh, come out. Okay. For B, uh, you can... For B, you can put in the, as you can see here, uh, every time you put in a coin, it jumps by two states because B is equal to, I mean, 10 cents is equal to five, uh, two five cents. So it will jump by two states. So from state zero, it jumps to state two. And then because state three is a maximum, it will stay at state three no matter how much more you put in. Uh. And at state three, the drink will come out. Uh, as you can see here, uh, when A equals to 1, which means a 5 cent is placed inside, uh, it will jump by one state. As you can see from state 0 to state 1 and to state 2, because the uh, A is a constant 1, uh, and you keep on jumping to, because every time you see the the clock jump by 1 is equals to what place in 1, uh, then 1, 2, 3, then when you reach a state 3, uh, if, a, if the reset button is pushed, uh, it will reset back to state 0. Uh, as you can see here, B uh, is placed into the machine, uh, which is B equals to 10 cent. So every time a uh, 10 cent is placed inside, uh, it will jump by two states until it reaches 3, because 3 is the maximum. So it will jump from state 0 to state 2, and then to state 3. When a, similarly, like... Uh, if you place in 5 cents, uh, whenever a reset button is pushed, you uh, you go to zero from stage 3. Hello, my name is Kai Jian, and today I'll explain to you what you're seeing right now, which is a block diagram of our final mini project of our vending machine. And firstly, I'll explain what this vending machine diagram came about. We have created this symbol from the quarters update function of our VHDL. Uh, we use the create symbol so that we can we can put it on this block diagram uh, to test it out on the board to work. We have also learned from previous lab that we, on which and where pins the pin number should should be assigned to each input and output. Next, I'll explain the debounce 
what is, what is this debounce? Is uh, basically is is for the push button. For every time I press the push button, it is counted as one push. Uh, not two, three, or four push pushes. Mm. So to make sure there is a consistency, uh, all right. mm, That's all. Thank you. Okay, first I'm about to show you a video of us put inputting five cents, which is A, into the into the board, and this is the result. So we have to press the button three times. Okay. Next, the one that I'm about to show you is for 10 cents, which is input B, where we have to press two times. One, two. The next one that I'm about to show you is another scenario, which is we we ask putting 10 cents and 5 cents, which is A and B. This is A. And this is B, which is 15 cents, which is why the LED lights up. Okay, and this is the end of our pro our project presentation. Thank you for your attention.